All right, people, let's get this one out of the way. Tommy Fury scores a six-round majority decision over KSI. Don't watch this fight. It was terrible. It was horrid to watch. Uh, only a six-rounder, as I say, but probably the worst, the longest, it felt, six-rounder I've ever watched in my life. There is no entertainment value in this fight at all. So, yeah, save your time. Do something else. Watch another fight from the weekend because this, this fight is not where it's at. Um, where to even start? It was, it was one of those fights because I guess there's some degree of controversy around it, as I'm sure you've seen, whereby KSI feels like he's been hard done by. Um, there have been kind of allegations of this being a robbery, as we see so often in boxing. This was one of those fights whereby it's so poor from both sides, from both men, that come to the end of it, you're just thinking nobody deserved to win this because it was as terrible. Tommy Fury getting the nod, I don't really have an issue with. Two of the judges had it 57-56. Uh, One of the judges had it 57-57. Like, it's it's really... I, I just don't care, to be honest. I don't care. It was such a poor fight. Both guys had such little success. But Tommy Fury just seemed to have ever so slightly more. So I guess I don't really have an issue of him getting a decision. Um, in case you didn't tune into my live stream or if you haven't seen it I actually picked Tommy Fury to win I thought he was just going to be a bit classier I thought he might even stop KSI because KSI from what I've seen in the past is just wild leaves himself wide open and um, I, I was wrong however uh, Tommy Fury didn't even come close to landing many meaningful punches there was just I can't remember any eye-catching eye-catching punches at all um yeah, there are a few shots here and there that, oh, that looks, you know, half decent. But, nah. This fight, Tommy Fury versus KSI, was Tommy. Uh, if you don't know what Tommy means, Google it on the Urban Dictionary and it will tell you everything you need to know. Um, Tommy Fury, you know, he has a bit more resemblance to an actual boxer, quote-unquote, for obvious reasons. You know, has a bit more of an active guard. Seems to cut off the ring somewhat well, advances somewhat well. But nothing comes off of it. Um... KSI, he looks like he's come straight out of Taekwondo school. He doesn't understand how to move around the ring without, you know, jumping up and down like a novice. He travels in straight lines, has his hands down by his waist, gets clips on the way in, and then they fall into a hold. They fall into a clinch. A couple of rabbit punches, a couple of inconsequential uh, body punches, as we always see. Um, Tommy Fury was actually deducted a point for hitting behind the head. Um, I think that was, I can't remember which round it was, but Tommy Fury was doing that from pretty early um, and it seemed deliberate, like he knew what he was doing, so I don't have an issue with that. They weren't damaging rabbit punches or anything like that, it was it was just an arm punch, but of course it is still illegal. Um, KSI made a big song and dance of it in the first round. Yeah, I know there are going to be people listening to this and they're going to think, oh, what did you expect? And exactly, like, what do you expect? It's, it's low-quality boxing. But I don't really have an issue with, like, influencer boxing. I, I don't mind it happening. I very rarely tune in. This is one of the rare occurrences where I do. I think in my whole life I've probably seen about four, maybe five of these fights. Um, and see, the thing is, sometimes... I feel like these fights, they go one of two ways. They either fall into the trap of being this, where it is hugging and both guys are so inexperienced that they don't get anything done. They just cancel each other out and it's a, a snooze fest. Or they're so, um, what's the word? They're so eager to get hands on each other that it turns out to be a barn burner and you know you see big exchanges. Of, yeah, there's not much skill or, or technique but it's the intensity behind it, and that can be entertaining. Um, this, as I say, it fell into the former. Just holding. It was just a hug fest from both guys. I couldn't really discern who was initiating the holding. I think they just both fell into each other's arms. And, you know, these guys probably love each other behind the scenes, really, because there was a hell of a lot of hugging going on. But, um, yeah, moral of it is, don't watch this fight. There is no entertainment value in it at all. Watch another fight from the weekend. That's all from me on this one. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. You probably will enjoy it more than the fight itself. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Tommy Fury gets the W contentiously, I want to say, over 
KSI, what do you think? I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.